Hi, my name is Valerie and I'm a homeschool mom. I have five children and I've been homeschooling for 15 years. Um, I haven't done YouTube really before, maybe once or twice um, in the past, but I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if I'll post this or if I'll ever post again after this, but um, I wanted to share with any moms out there who are interested uh, in kind of developing your own curriculum or your own uh, materials, gathering your own mater materials. Um, most of my homeschooling career, I've used prepackaged curriculum. Uh, I've thrown in a few read alouds that I've selected myself and things like that. But basically, I do textbooks and tests. That's just what works best for my personality. Um, but lately, I've been trying to, to get away from maybe the strict literature um, anthologies that are you see with like a Becca or Bob Jones or the mainstream publishers. And I've tried to, I'm trying to use um, actual books, I know, novel approach. And, um, but in order to see that they're retaining what they're reading, it's nice to have some questions. And I don't have time to develop questions for every single novel or story that my kids are going to read. So um, I recently rediscovered, um, I'd, I'd seen it before, but I hadn't really utilized it, the website called TeachersPayTeachers.com. And it's free to join. Um, but everything on there that you download, of course, you do have to print it yourself. They don't mail you anything printed. Um, so you have to invest in the ink and, um, you know, the, the paper to print them out. Um, but there's a small fee for everything, too. Um, it, well, it depends on how much you're getting, how many pages. Most of the time, it's between $0.99 cents and $5. You know, you can find a lot in that price range. And then there are some that cost more. You can start from kindergarten and go all the way up through senior high. On materials and um, so recently I found um, some questions for Mr. Popper's penguins for my third grader and I printed this off um, you can see it includes the chapter questions vocabulary and the answer key it was 19 pages counting the answer key and it was um, three dollars and 75 cents so I thought it was worth it because it has the perfect amount of questions for a third grader to fill in. Nothing super long. You can find things that are essay questions. You can find things that have uh, crosswords. You know, however much you want the kids to do, you can find the material for them on that website. Uh, but this is great. Here are the vocabulary words that he just writes the definitions to. You can look them up in the dictionary. You can just, you know, talk about it and he can write down the idea. But like, you know, who rang the doorbell? Very simple questions. They don't necessarily require lots of, um, you know, in individual assessment. Um, although, you know, you can get ones that, like I said, are more in-depth that way. I like it because it just tells me whether or not he was paying attention while he was reading the story or was he zoning out. So it's been really great, um, and I just wanted to pass it along. Also, another good website is education.com, I believe is the, the right website URL for that. But um, it is uh, free to join, just like Teachers Pay Teachers. And their downloads, I believe you can pay for some, or they give you three free ones a month, I believe, is, is the way it's set up. So, you know, you just keep track of what you need, and every month you can get those downloaded for free. Print them off, make your copies if you are doing like a co-op setting or whatever. So, anyway, I just wanted to pass this along for any other homeschool moms out there that might be interested. So, thanks for watching.